Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss the co-founder of Titan Submersible wants to send humans to Venus. Guillermo Sonline, the man who founded the company behind the Titan Submersible that exploded in the ocean claiming five lives, is now setting his sights on a new frontier. Venus. In a blog post, the 58-year-old co-founder of OceanGate argued that humans can safely visit and even live on Venus, despite its harsh, inhospitable conditions. Sernlein believes that Venus's challenges, such as its high carbon dioxide levels and sulfuric acid clouds, can be overcome with breathing apparatus and acid-resistant materials. He suggests that humans could build a home in the Venusian atmosphere, approximately 50 kilometers above its surface, where conditions are more Earth-like as compared to its surface temperature of 462.22 degrees Celsius. We could embark on our Venusian journey and do it safely and cost-effectively, said the Ocean Gate co-founder. He argues that Venus is a more accessible option than Mars. The reality is that Venus is much closer to Earth and has a much more similar orbit, which makes it much more accessible than Mars. Lower cost, more frequent flight windows, shorter transit times, higher safety, etc. Also, we don't have to worry about conducting successful landings on the planet's surface, which is one of the biggest challenges awaiting us on Mars. Sernlein believes that sending humans to Venus before Mars could be a safer way to develop the capabilities needed for interplanetary travel. If anything, one could argue that sending humans to Venus before sending them to Mars might be a better way to safely develop the capabilities to create a Martian community, he added. While experts currently believe human life on Venus is nearly impossible, Sernlein remains undeterred, viewing Venus's colonization as a feasible goal by 2050. Sending humans to Venus is aspirational, but I think it's also very doable by 2050, he had told Business Insider previously. Humans have never traveled beyond the moon, and Venus is a far away dream, one which Sonlein wants to make a reality. Despite the tragic loss of his co-founder, Stockton Rush, in the Titan submersible incident, Sonlein remains committed to his vision. He founded the Humans to Venus Foundation after leaving Oceangate in January 2020 and continues to advocate for Venus exploration through his new venture, Space Bridge Partners, which connects commercial investors with space exploration missions. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.